Hello, Tubies. Um, I'm here today. I am uh, going to do a um, real quick tarot reading. I had some time off between classes, so I thought it would be wonderful for me to do a reading for a few people. Um, but the first person I wanted to do a reading for, she did not ask me for a reading, so I hope she really doesn't mind. Um, but I just felt her energies were so strong, I really had to go and give it a, a try. Um, this user, her name is Andalida. She, her YouTube name is Shimfo. I'll put a link in the side over here for y'all to look at. Uh, if y'all want to check out her channel, she's a, v a very great spiritualist. I like her. I especially liked her video on uh, past life uh, regression, I, I suppose it would be. Uh, or ascension of past lives, I believe is what it was called. At any rate, uh, I wanted to take the opportunity to do a nine card reading for her because I just felt so so uh, inspired by her so she has a wonderful voice check her check that out too wonderful wonderful voice um but as long, if she doesn't mind i'm going to go ahead and do that for her um i'm going to do my normal nine card um uh, past present future body mind spirit um and uh for the past and uh, the body we have we see the moon and a very um, lustrous woman bowing down to her while she, uh, I suppose it's be while she bathes. Um, she is uh, protected by Thor, not Thor, um, Thoth, there we go. Thoth, the two goddesses of Thoth watch over her, um, holding Anks. Um, Thoth was originally meant to be a person of great balance. He was the record keeper in the afterlife in Egyptian mythologies. Um, so, what I'm getting from this, in a physical aspect of your body, is that the moon tells me that you're very... I don't want to say last you was, because that would be quite... You are a very attractive woman, but very pretty. Um, but, very youthful, I guess is what I'm trying to get at, very youthful, and, um, it seems to stick with you very well, a very youthful aura about you, or in the past. Um, mentally, um, was there a time that you were learning something, and it happened to have just stopped? Um, because I'm, I see that uh in the um mental not mental educational and mental thought uh it was it was cut off for you um in the past at some point I, I mean perhaps you were learning something and you just thought perhaps you went to college and you and you uh, didn't finish um this this is one of the many of the things it could possibly be um I think it was something, an event that might have happened, uh, sorry, that really caused this to happen, um, unfortunately, not a positive one. Um, but yes, that's the mental part. Um, the uh, spiritual in the past, um, I see you were very, very noble-like person, very uh, defensive, I, I believe, when it comes to that. Um, but you also knew how to to hold it, you know, how to capture it, um, use it when it was needed, basically, um, and when not in use, you kept it at close bay. And spiritually speaking, this could mean several different things. Um, of course, now we know you've been able to uh, experience many different things, but back then, I think feel you're very protective, more so about it than anything. Um, but yet, you were still very proud of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, presently, from a physical standpoint, I, th I believe you're very, you're very healthy. I don't want to say you're very healthy, very um, victorious in keeping your body quite healthy, physically, spiritually, um, emotionally. Um, oh, forgive me. Um, but you're you're in good good shape. Uh, I want to say. Um, good balance, also in great poise to you. Um, mentally speaking, um, 
I want to say it's just divine knowledge seems to be coming to you very rapidly, much like um, like a falling rock. It just seems to just whoo, hit you, um, <clears throat> which could be a contributing factor to why you have so many so many energies or spirits about you. You just seem to have this connection to this energy that just seems to uh, they seem to be quite um, attracted to. Um, so that's what I see here in, in the, the intellectual or mental aspect. Spiritually speaking, I, I believe you're, you're, dreaming, you're dreaming of something more. I think you want something spiritually. Uh, and, you, and you're doing well to just sit back, perhaps meditate. And you're doing well to... Um, that's what I'm looking for. To plan out, perhaps, to envision what it is that you truly want spiritually. Um, it could be something you're facing right now. Um, this is nothing negative, mind you. Um, planning ahead is always a good thing. Um, I wish I had more planning personally. Um, but <laughs> it seems to be that you, you're really trying to, to root out and pick out exactly what it is that you, you're wanting, what you're looking for. And that's, this is good. It's very good. Uh, my cards are focused. Um, future. The future. Um, and physically you become more balanced. Even so, you retain that balance. Um, and that youthful, youthful, um, figure to you. Youthful appearance. Um, mind you, I don't know your age, so I'm just not gonna, I'm not saying anything, but, um, you, I think you retain that youthful presence about you, and that's this is good, and that's real good. Um, certainly, a gift that many people would really enjoy to have. Um, sorry, I'm saying um a lot. <laughs> There's also a lot of uh, appearance of knowledge. Perhaps your aura may radiate knowledge about you, and that's very um, and that's very beneficial. Very beneficial in the future. I think it will be. Um, and in the intellectual field, you seem to be an illuminator, an ins inspiration, perhaps, a um, one who opens the light up, opens the road up to a new light. There we go. And um, you seem to, uh, you will seem to be able to. Um, can't get my words. To be able to seek out exactly what you want and what you want for others on an intellectual field, um, you'd be able to make things more clearly. That's what I'm trying to say. Things become more clear for you and others in an intellectual manner. Um, spiritually, I see a lot of um, control um, over your emotions. Um, Possibly not all the time, spiritually speaking. Um, it could be an empathetic thing that you may have to deal with. It could be um, um, somebody on the same uh, spiritual level as you, somebody possibly that you might meditate. It could be anything that influences you emotionally. Uh, a little turbulence, though. Um, Perhaps a little bit of a rocky road in your spiritual practice in the future, but it might make you become physically, not physically, uh, emotionally and spiritually uh, weakened a bit. Uh, I don't think there's much to fear in that. Yes, because then you go, you you will be able to uh, rise back up to that uh, status that you've maintained so far. Um, but yes, I always have to keep my readings under a ten minute mark. So sorry, I have to do that. But I really hope you enjoyed it, and I really hope you don't mind that I did a reading for you. You're just, I just love your energies, and it's so wonderful to be able to do something for you. And, um, but at any rate, continue to making your movies, uh, your videos, I'm sorry. Um, I really enjoy them, appreciate them, and, uh, blessed be.